Hi everyone, Sumit Chandra this side and I welcome you to our channel Solution Bridge Network and one stop solution for all your Power Platform tutorials. In today's video, we are going to walk through all the major news from Power BI for October 2025. What's new, what's changed and how it affect you as a report creator or data analyst. Let's drive in. These are the contents that has released by Microsoft this month. Let's start with events and announcements. At first, we will discuss some important community and event type updates. The event Fabric Data Days is coming starting November 4th. There will be two months of learning, context, live sessions and discount exam vouchers. Also, Fabcon Americas 2026 is back, scheduled for March 16 to 20, 2026 in Atlanta. It's going to be a major community event for Power BI, Microsoft Fabric, real-time intelligence, AI and databases. Now let's discuss some general platform updates. Bing Maps to Azure Maps. A key fundamental change. Power BI is transitioning from the Bing Maps visual to Azure Maps. Microsoft plans to retire Bing Maps for enterprise support eventually. So Power BI is proactively moving to Azure Maps. If you have existing reports, with Bing Maps, don't panic. They will continue to show for now. But you are encouraged to upgrade to Azure Maps for future proofing. If you are in China, Korea or government clouds or reporting to users in those regions, you might need to wait until Azure Maps is fully supported in those regions. For paginated reports, Via Power BI Report Builder, the migration has begun. Phase 1 in the Report Builder is already done. Phase 2 in the service is expected by mid-November. If you use map visuals in your dashboards or reports, now is a good time to plan migration. Test Azure Maps Visual, check region support and update your templates so you are ready when Bing Maps is deprecated. Now let's discuss about some Copilot and AI announcements. A big one this month is that Copilot feature in Power BI can write DAX queries in the DAX query view and this is now generally available. In Power BI Desktop, or Power BI Web Modeling, you open DAX Query View, click the Copilot button and can prompt it conversationally and it will generate the DAX for you if your Fabric subscription supports Copilot and admin has enabled the same for you. You can also edit DAX Query with Copilot run it, tweak it and keep the final version. It's powered by the semantic model, meaning the tables, columns, hierarchies, descriptions, relationships are known to Copilot. So your prompts can reference things in your model meaningfully. This is a huge productivity gain. If you are comfortable writing DAX already, this accelerates prototyping. If you are less comfortable, it gives a way to get started. It also encourages cleaner semantic models because the AI relies on that underlying model metadata. Try it out on a small model, ask Copilot to write DAX, then verify the logic before applying in production. Now let's discuss about reporting improvements. 
button slice are now generally available cross highlighting meaning when a slicer button is selected other visuals highlight the related values and dim unrelated ones for example selecting north america in a chart will highlight canada or us buttons in the slicer and dim others auto grid options when enable the slicer layout adjust automatically to maintain a clean arrangements without you manually resizing accessibility improvements have been added visual calculations now supported in embedded for your customers this is a preview feature for now for the scenario embedded for your customers visual calculations are now supported in preview this means you can define custom calculations within visuals without modifying the underlying data model or writing complex dags via the embedded context you can hide unhide fields on visuals and set visual level format strings for embedded analytic solutions this gives flexibility to adjust visuals without model changes making things faster to iterate and deliver automatically expand table columns to fill available space new formatting option grow to fit for table visuals if your table doesn't use the full width of the visual container you can turn on auto size width plus set resize behavior to grow to fit the columns spread to fill extra space evenly this makes your table look cleaner more balanced and easier to read instead of columns leaving big gaps let me show you this in my power bi file i am in my power bi file now and i simply take two columns and here you can see it adjusts the width let me show you the setting i select the table now and if i come to format options and here if i click on column headers under options you will get this option grow to fit if we select content to fit then you can see the additional space inside a table and if you select grow to fit it will adjust the width automatically let us move to the blog post again power bi controller in powerpoint introducing the new power bi controller in power bi in powerpoint this is a preview feature for now if you embedded power bi reports into microsoft powerpoint slides via add-ins you now have the new power bi controller add-ins which acts like a central command center for all power bi add-ins in a presentation you add it via add-ins microsoft power bi controller then a task pane opens listing all commands you can apply across all embeds in your presentation performance analyzer in web for visual load times the performance analyzer pane in the web editing environment will soon be available rolling out next few weeks this tool lets you see the load times of visuals in your report while editing in web so you can identify slow visuals or bottlenecks start evaluating your power bi reports in web mode to see where you might optimize performance ahead of rollout export query results this is also a preview feature in power bi desktop you can now export query results directly to destinations like dataflow gen2 lakehouses or other cloud stores in power bi desktop go to preview feature enable the feature then from the power query ribbon select export query results and 
choose a destination. If you build transformations in desktop and want their results to feed a lakehouse data flow or other fabric data store, you now have a more direct path. It helps break down barriers between desktop analytics and enterprise data integration. That's wrap up the Power BI updates for this month. Which feature you are most excited to try out? Let me know in the comments and feel free to drop any questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel, hit the like button and press the bell icon for the new video alerts.